Hello dear friends, I have an experimental brushless gimbal to show you for the Mobius action cam. As you can see it's all the narrow, uh, the, my, my goal was to have it as narrow as possible so I can make a copter frame smaller to say weight and this and that. So experimental as you can see the pitch will be the pitch will be a way off and it's not going to be balanced. Now before somebody comes in about the balancing please know that I'm very well aware how balanced the gimbal should be. Uh, like gimbal is my next thing after copters building. But with this one, what I was aiming for, that these motors, they are suited for GoPro style cameras, which is around 100 grams, right? So uh, they're coping well with the inertia of 100 grams once it balance. But my shredded Mobius is only 20 grams. So uh, I think if I can crank up the power, it can, it can, cope, with the, it can cope with the disbalance. Now, I, I know it's going to be require a lot of power. So... It's only pitch, it's only pitch that's gonna be out of balance. Uh, horizontally, it is balanced by adjusting the motor up and down. Now, of course, if the camera tilts, like it's gonna be, it's gonna be hanging down out of balance. Uh, it's adjustable, it's adjustable in the roll motor as well to have a, to have, to have a balance, uh, balance uh, in this axis. Uh, now, before I build a copter, like as I build copter specifically for, for, for the gear that I'll be using, I'll be I'll be testing that gimbal on my on my on my rock crawler. So we'll see we'll see how that will get on. Now some of you might ask why I didn't flip it upside down. It would it would probably it would probably work well uh, hanging like a pair of balls instead of instead of fighting uh, PVM a lot of input to get it to get it done. But she on the on the crawl at the plan was my so I got on a servo if I can if I can turn around uh, on the side tilt it down and then I can have a look and I can have a look at the rear wheels so if that would be if that would be hanging upside down if I can turn around basically all I will see is just the middle of a frame if I turn around eh, I suppose I can get away well, if it's not going to be working the way the way I expected it to work, then I'll just flip it upside down and I will test it and I will test it again. So let's power it up and see what's it going to do. Uh, this, uh, the controller is uh, the Alex Mars, the very latest, the very latest software up to this date of a video. Let's see. Initializing. Uh huh starts to shake now of course it's not enough power to lift it up to lift it up the cam so it's sort of a it's sort of a holding i can feel i can feel the roll motor vibrating oscillating it has a bit too much power no no of course as i expected it's 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 losing I have to crank up the power and see because the uh, on the on the GUI only calibrated the accelerometer for the sensor and that's it didn't touch any powers any PID settings or anything so now of course it loses right so I'll try to mess around with the power a bit and if the things not gonna work well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip the sensor upside down and put the gimbal upside down and then we'll check it and then we'll see what's going on. Right shit, test number two coming in a minute. Right, before test number two, well this is number test number <laughs> uh, I'll show you what a failure it is to mount on this way. Uh, I tweaked a bit in the GUI graphic interface. So here's 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 what's going on. Uh, the roll motor, it's more than powerful enough for from, from 180. I, I can reduce to 110 of the 
110 for power and it's still holding on very well now what goes towards the what goes towards the pitch motor uh, this motor is a little smaller and it is struggling I reduced the power to 250 like it's it's slightly warm but it's not the problem the problem is that uh, because of uh, too much power it's getting it's getting oscillating so I put on a gyro filter uh, plus one on the on the sensor and it's only now kinda kinda working like it's still it's still it's still it's still it's still not good enough and it's all vibrating so the video will 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 the video will be jello so basically mounting the camera on top it's uh the bloody motor is not powerful enough to cope with the disbalance uh, when everything when everything is on top so uh, I'd say if I would be if I would be able to swap like the roll motor putting in here for the for the pitch I'd say it should be good enough but but still so to mama mobius this way uh i can i i can i have this one because if i if i'll tilt if i'll tilt this one down uh with my with my radio to have a look down like it's not gonna it is not gonna go up so after tweaking with the pids uh this part is a failure right so let's flip it upside down and then we'll check it again okay okay after mooching a bit I can come to conclusion that I failed on this one, which I was I was expecting, I was expecting of a failure. Is where I was experimenting. This is how I gained my knowledge. So, um, anyway, doesn't matter whichever way I do with the PID settings or the power. It's still it's still bloody even even with the cam hanging like a balls down. Still bloody doesn't 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 work. It doesn't. It doesn't work like if i'll crank up the power like it still starts the oscillations uh gyro filter doesn't doesn't help on this matter so roll is pretty much balanced like we all good in there but we'll go toward but what goes towards the pitch as you can see it's like slightly slightly movements and it start losing so basically what i think what's going on here that this motor is not powerful enough because when I crank up the power, things are getting better, but then the start is all oscillation. So uh, that, of course, de defeats the purpose for the multi-copters where the weight saving is, is bloody very crucial. Well, at least for me. So on this rock crawler, what I'm going to try, I'm going to put the bigger motor, still keep it on balance. Uh, I have here... 3506 130t gimbal motor where this one where this little booboo -boo is what we have here 220870t and for the and for the roll i had here 221280t so basically what it is this motor is not powerful enough to cope with this ba uh, with this balance either e either it's either the camera is upside down either the camera is either the camera is standing the normal way so i'll stick on this one and we'll go for another test okay so much for now